Welcome to the EU Pollinator Hub, a new online platform to share, centralize and visualize data related to pollinator health. In this video, we will review some of the essentials on how to use the platform. This video will cover navigating datasets available in the hub, browsing and using the terminology dictionary, uploading datasets. Make sure to register and log in to make the most out of your experience in the hub. Registration is free for all users and data providers. For some functionalities like uploading data, you must first become a registered user. Navigating datasets available in the hub. The EU Pollinator Hub works as a vast repository of data, making it easy for anyone looking for data related to pollinators to find, explore and download data uploaded from different sources. First, access all publicly available datasets on the Discover Datasets button in the homepage. The dataset discovery tool allows you to browse available datasets. You can also easily search among available datasets by typing in the search bar. Better filter your results by selecting one of the available keywords and specifying the year of the data. Click on the dataset of your choice and you will find detailed information. Information includes credits to the data provider, citation reference to the dataset, as well as specifications on data collection years. Before downloading and using available data, make sure to review the license for intellectual property. Click on license and make sure that the data is available for public use and publication beforehand. The hub encourages an open and collaborative community for pollinator related data. However, it also takes serious consideration of intellectual property ownership and the privacy of data providers. You can download the bulk of data available in the dataset by clicking on download data. Metadata is also available for any further needs in data science, management and integration into external datasets. You can also browse and download individual tables in case you are looking for specific elements in the dataset. Some datasets feature visualizations such as charts, figures and interactive maps. Browsing and using the terminology dictionary. The EU Pollinator Hub aims at making data related to pollinators as accessible as possible. Achieving this goal requires a common understanding of basic elements in data, including the terminology being used in datasets. However, building communication standards also requires that users are able to provide and access data in their own language. The EU Pollinator Hub features an integrated dictionary that allows data providers and users to browse class entries as well as introducing new ones, propose modifying definitions and even translations. Classes are the key definition elements in all datasets. Browsing the dictionary is easy. Just click on the kind of view you want to see available classes. Under the list view, you will find all available classes. You can also use the search bar to easily find any specific class. You can also filter the selection by classes related to a dataset. If you are looking for specific definitions used in one of the available datasets in the hub, click on the filter icon and choose a dataset. Under tree view, you will find all classes hierarchically organized. Here, you will find all contained classes and their subsections. The translator allows you to search and find any available class or term in the platform and find its translation in another language. Type the term you are looking for and specify the origin language and the translated language. Finally, find any class definitions without translation in the Encyclopedia tab. Just type the class you are looking for into the search bar. Because the Pollinator Hub is a collaborative platform, you can also start a discussion on the definition and hierarchies of any terms. Just click on the Start Discussion button. You can directly type your comment and make it public for administrators and other users to comment. Is a translation you are looking for unavailable? You can contribute to the Hub's dictionary by proposing your own class definitions and translations. Just click on the Propose Translation button to add a new translation. Select the language in which you wish to translate the term and then fill the form to translate. You may also add a reference to the translation. Finally, click on Suggest and our translation managers will review your proposal. Uploading datasets. The EU Pollinator Hub is a living platform whose heart beats thanks to data providers. To become a data provider, just click on the Data Provider Dashboard button located in the homepage. The first step to become a data provider is to fill the registration form. Fill in your name or the name of the organization 
add an abbreviation and select your country of operations. Fill in your contact information so our administrators can contact you and best provide support. After accepting the terms and conditions, click on the button Become Data Provider to finalise the form. The platform is also designed for collaborative work. You can add members to your team so they can directly access the data you upload. Here you must also define their role as administrators, editors or members. Once your account is set up, go to My Data Catalogue on the top menu. Here you will find a complete overview of your uploaded datasets once available. To upload your datasets, click on New Dataset. The first action is to fill the form and provide essential information about the dataset. First, define in the Data Providers field if only you or another person or organisation are participating in uploading the data. You can include additional information like the DOI or Digital Object Identifier. If the dataset does not count with the DOI, one may be created in the future in reference to its position in the platform. Another important aspect is to define the license attribution for the data. If you wish the data to be open to the public, a commonly recommended standard is Attribution 4.0 International. Please review available options and find out more about their implications in the See License Details link. Fill in the rest of the form and specify if there are any additional contributors from a list of registered users in the platform and specify their role. Finally, you can also add references relevant to the dataset. Currently, one format is available, but others will soon be integrated. If you use a reference management software, this tool will allow you to export the reference in a compatible format. Toggle the Published switch if you wish to make the data and related information publicly available. You can also select a publishing date to keep the data under embargo until a specific date. After completing the form, click on Create to continue the process. Congratulations! You have successfully created a new space for your dataset. The next step in the process is to add your data. To do so, you will add a new table. Fill the table form and specify if this is originally your data. Should the data come from an extraction of existing public data, for instance, fill in the type of license under which the dataset will be used. Finalize the form and click on Create. You now have created a table under your dataset and are ready to upload your data. Just click on Upload Data. You can now select and upload your data file. Once your upload is complete, provide some important information about your table. Define the column delimiter, the decimal separator, and the file encoding. Also define how missing values are characterized. Some common examples include null, n slash a, or nan. Finally, click Upload. You can now check that the data has been successfully uploaded and integrated into the platform. Toggle between metadata, descriptive measures, data quality measures, and the other tabs to verify that the data has been adequately uploaded. If you encounter any issues, try deleting and uploading your data. Also double check all information on delimiters, separators, and encoding are correct. Once you see the platform is successfully reading the data, you can now turn to describe it. First, click on the Describe button. Column by column, you can now add a description and specify the measurement units. Make sure that you add the information for each column. You can fill the information for each column by directly clicking on their title located on top of the form. Back on the table overview page, you can also upload supplementary information, graphs or charts by following the Upload Supplemental button. Uploading supplementals like charts and graphs is easy. You can just upload your file and add a description. You have now finalised uploading your data and adding all necessary descriptions. The final step is to submit your dataset for the EU Pollinator Hub team to review it. To submit your dataset, you can access the data overview page on My Data Catalogue and click on the dataset you want to submit. To finalise the process, click on Submit for Review. Make sure your licence and permissions are defined before submitting. You can always modify these options in the Edit button. The EU Pollinator Hub team will review your submission. Please wait a few days before your data becomes available on the platform. Should there be any issues, our team will contact you. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the functionalities of the EU Pollinator Hub. For more information and inquiries, visit pollinatorhub.eu.